Happy to have Michael Cullianos here. Hello, Michael. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This is Michael Cullianos of Jesus Image Ministries. Yes. And you're here with us in Buffalo at the Tabernacle. We're in our conference this week. Mm -hmm. um, but God has brought you in a unique way around the world. Um, you have been involved in ministry all around the world in incredible ways. Um, but the thing that consistently um, I think of when I think of you, you know, there are, there are parts of the body that do many different things, you know. You know your hands can accomplish a lot of different things, and et cetera, et cetera. Then there are other parts of the body that just consistently, you know, have one um, driving focus and driving aim. And you have a revelation of the importance of walking gazing at Jesus and having that gaze transform our lives and transform everything about us. And that's what you bring to the body of Christ. At least that's what I think of when I think of you. And then what comes out of that healing and blessing and restoration and salvation and all of those things, but it comes out of a living connectivity. The only person I know in the body of Christ, and I'm sure there may be many that I don't know, but the one that I know that reminds me of that is, is Mike Fickle and that sense of intimacy with Jesus just constantly bringing us back to that message. How do we today, as a church that, especially in the West, is overrun by culture, sometimes church looks more like culture right. than we think it should, mm -hmm. distractions, this, that, the other thing. How do we find that almost, almost monastic, you know, almost mystical place of connection with Jesus and the Holy Spirit? Yeah, well, I think it starts with a supreme value internally for the presence of God, you know. And so if I, we have to ask ourselves some healthy questions. In fact, I was asking myself this question in the hotel before I came here. What would what would what is the Christian life without Jesus? Mm -hmm. What is life without God? What is a church without the presence of God? So he's he makes um, church church. He makes Christ is Christianity, the Holy Spirit in the presence of the Lord, the Lord Himself. See, I think sometimes when we talk about accessing the presence of the Lord or experiencing the presence of the Lord. We feel him in a certain way, or we're aware of him in a certain way. Somehow that description in our own minds, be, because of the language, becomes the presence of the Lord. Mm. The presence of the Lord is the Lord himself. Mm -hmm. So without the Lord himself, we have nothing. Mm -hmm. And and it's that simplicity that I believe the devil is really after. Mm. He does... He, you know, he never, the devil never speaks with simplicity. He, he, he is direct, but he's full of lies. Mm -hmm. He seems to throw this hodgepodge of confusion at us and seems to hit us from multiple angles and in multiple ways to knock us off the saddle of simplicity where God comes to us and says, hey, here I am. Mm -hmm. The 23rd Psalm, for instance. Look, even in the, in the midst of our enemies, God has one thing on his mind. Here's a table. Eat with me. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. Because I want you to break it down and make it practical. Sure. You have three small kids. Yeah. You lead a growing ministry, which is a corporation. Sure. It's a business, right? Absolutely. There's there's forms and yeah. taxes Staff and all, and payroll, all of right. that, right? Yeah. You travel the world. Mm -hmm. So practically speaking, you're, you're talking to... A mother who's overrun by kids, a business executive, or just just an ADD millennial who's bombarded with Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and all of that. Mm -hmm. Practically, mm -hmm. what are the spiritual micro disciplines that are a reset button for you yeah. to keep you in that place? For me, I have to start my day with the Lord, and so if He. If I, me personally, I can't get through a day without him. So I need to be alone with him. So uh, I believe the scripture teaches that 
the secret place is the fuel of that abiding life throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Not not the reverse. Mm -hmm. So as we close the door, Jesus made it real simple. Look, you want to be with the Father, go to Him in the, into the secret place and close the door. We can mm -hmm. all do that. Mm -hmm. Shut the door. Pray to your Father who's in secret. Your Father who lives in secret will reward you openly in our daily life. Mm -hmm. So I have to be with the Lord before I do anything else. Mm -hmm. I believe David was clear in the Psalms. Early will I seek thee. Uh, Jesus prayed in the morning so dedicated that he climbed a mountain to do it. Mm -hmm. See, we read through things like that. We're like, oh, he climbed a mountain. Mm -hmm. well, then you go to Israel, <laughs> right. and you're like, whoa, right. the Mount of Transfiguration. That's some right. theologians believe it's snow-capped in the winter. I mean, that's right. a real mountain. Right. So he was that committed to being with the Father. So I pray in the morning. I have to get time with God in the morning. Then what I do, uh, most weeks, I would say 70% of the weeks in the year, I take every Tuesday and I spend time with Jesus mm -hmm. from 9 to, four, to 8 to 4. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, man, you're missing out on 20% of your work week. But I've found that I'm more productive. My heart stays soft. Um, that, so those are those, those are two things. Another thing I do is uh, once a once a year, uh, for a three day stint, I get together with brothers in the Lord, and we go to a cabin, mm -hmm. and we we spend time with Jesus for three days, mm -hmm. or a condo somewhere secluded. So I like to look at my calendar, and and hem out chunks of time throughout the year, maybe even two years out, and then schedule. In accordance with that now for my wife actually we've just been we've had to go through this recently my wife thought hey um, I the, the standard that I've seen you set and my dad set with alone time with God I can't find the time to do that like mm -hmm. I have three kids and your wife's dad is many hands yeah dad, right many hands. so that actually became uh, a burden for her mm -hmm. she felt like she had to walk with God the way Benny Hinn does or Michael. Mm -hmm. And recently the Lord really through through Bethel and, and the ministry of Pastor Bill and, and their team really just ministered to us and to her to look, you've got your own your own DNA with God. Mm -hmm. So now my wife, it's been really cool to watch her now find those moments during the day, 30 minutes here, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there. Actually, it's as practical of what she does now as she sets an alarm on her phone. Mm -hmm. One goes at 8.45, she communes with the Lord in the morning. At 12 o'clock, she has dialogue with God, and then again at 4.45. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of practical things you can do. But but I, I think in a nutshell, Robert, it comes down to this. If you value it, you'll make time. But see, here's the thing that's interesting to me as you share this, is that you have just laid out both daily weekly, and then throughout your year, yeah. set times. Right. And that immediately makes me think of the Jewish spiritual cycle. Very true. Where, you know, I work with a lot of religious Jews, a lot of Orthodox Jews, and they're in early morning prayer mm -hmm. at 5.30, 6 a.m. in their synagogue. Yeah. They can't have a prayer service without 10 men coming to form the minion. Right. And so they, they're, they're there. Um, if they're in a if they're in a foreign city, they're looking for a synagogue where they can go yeah. and pray because they have these set times with God. And then weekly, they have the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. And you've been in Israel when the Shabbat sen descends on Jerusalem, totally. and there is a holy the presence yeah, right. that just you know right. comes in. You're taking the, everything slows yeah. down. Now you're hitting. Hard. And then and then you said, we, I, I go away with my brothers, you know, for well, three times a year. Every righteous Jewish man, wow. three times a year, Sukkot, Tabernacles, Pesach, wow. Passover, wow. Shavuot, Pentecost, had to make a holy pilgrimage to Jerusalem wow. to worship. So there is this thing, sometimes I think it's Charismatics, as Pentecostals, we can, um, we can feel like scheduling things or setting things aside, like, well, that's religious or that's tradition or whatever. But... It also is real. It also becomes yeah. anchored in our lives when we do that. I see it as being romantic with the Lord. For my wife, for instance, we, we have scheduled date nights. Mm -hmm. And when 
I called a babysitter. That means a lot to Jess. Mm -hmm. And I believe the Lord is the same way. You know, when I really, when this life of intimacy became really real to me, because I had tasted other stuff and it just wasn't soothing my soul. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Lord began to draw me and I was like, oh, I'm home. This is what it, this is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And so I, in the, uh, if I, my prayer day was, let's say, uh, uh, on Tuesday, on Monday night, I would get my communion out. I'd put it in my little mm -hmm. prayer room. I'd have the elements ready. I'd have my mm -hmm. Bible there. Maybe mm -hmm. a devotional book by Madame Guyon or Miss Coolman or Mother Bessie Rita Schlink. And I would, I would get it ready and have the scriptures in there. Mm -hmm. And I could sense the passion of the Lord, like, mm -hmm. this guy's really... And, and man, I, I could not wait to get up. Mm -hmm. And um, so sometimes that discipline, uh, when done with the right heart, the mm -hmm. Lord loves it. Mm -hmm. And tonight as you were preaching, you just shared your heart and the heart of the Lord so beautifully. But for a moment, I was caught up. I, I don't remember exactly what phrase you said, but somehow the word restoration came out in, <clears throat> in your message tonight. And I... I instantly, it was like the four letters R E S T, wow. kind of just jumped off, and I, I saw that link between rest and restoration. Wow. You know, part of what God promises us is rest. Yes, and and that rest is not only physical, but it's rest for our souls. Mm -hmm. It's the satisfaction of God. Yeah, it's the deep satisfaction that comes that is not available in the plane of this world. Wow. It only comes from another place. Scripture says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So whoever you are, wherever you are, we want to encourage you. God is there to be accessed. God is there to be eaten, to eat of his flesh, drink of his blood, to receive from the goodness of the Lord, the rest of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. How do they... Find you. How do they get more of you? Jesus yeah. Image. Jesus image. Dot TV. Is That's that right? right? That's okay. Right. So Michael Koulianos, uh, Twitter. It's M Koulianos, and it's a weird Greek spelling. <laughs> K O U. It's it's right. <laughs> K O U L I A N O S. You got it. Uh, M Koulianos at Twitter, and then Jesus Image. Dot TV. An amazing apostolic leader with a whole tribe that God is raising up around him. And I love your commitment to the Middle East. Wow. I love several of the guys that you run yeah. with are really committed. And of course, Thank our for prayer, what you do. Well, praise the Lord. Well, God is committed to Isaac and Ishmael. Yeah. We're not going to get through this thing until the right. two of them put down the enmity between them. The Lord's really put on my heart in the last two years a real burden to stand with Israel. And actually, I've thought of you many times because I remember when I first came here to the town, you said, what are your thoughts on, on Israel? And I, I've been there a million times and taken tours and taking thousands of people that were my father but as you walk with Jesus it's really impossible to not see the importance of the great city and then mm -hmm. the, the new land that that uh, is our home mm -hmm. so thank you for what you're doing mm -hmm. thank you well it's the it's the city of the great king that's right <laughs>